So I just released a video on Apple Notes and how I use it for a lot of things. There's a link in the description below. In that video, I talked about how I used to write notes on scrap pieces of paper and how Apple Notes changed all of that for me. Well, I used to do the same thing when making lists of things to do, grocery lists, lists of people to call, or just about anything else you can think of. And honestly, most of the time I'd lose or misplace the list. Well, I stopped making lists on scrap paper and started using Apple Reminders on my iPhone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you five tips on why you should do the same thing. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Rich Bolin, and this video is part six in my iPhone Tips for Seniors series. If you'd like to check out the other videos, I've included links in the description below. If you're new to the iPhone or a senior citizen trying to figure out what all you can do on an iPhone, then this video is for you. Apple Reminders is a great, easy to use application that allows you to create lists. Lists for chores, lists for birthday gifts, a list of things to buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. Really, you can create a list for anything. And because it's on your phone and your phone is in your pocket, you'll always have these lists with you. Super handy. So here are the five tips for using Apple Reminders I'm going to cover in this video. How to create a list, how to add a reminder to a list, how to add subtasks to a task, how to use smart lists, and you don't want to skip that part, and how to add a location reminder. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is how to create a list. So in reminders, you can have multiple lists, lists of things to do, lists of things to buy, you know, all that kind of stuff. So how you create a list is very easy. You just simply tap on the reminders icon, which takes you to this main screen, and click on add list. So here you type in the name of your list. And we'll say Home Depot. And you can create a color for it, and I'm gonna make it orange so it looks like Home Depot. And then you just click Done. And now you have a list for Home Depot. And that's how you create a list in Reminders. Pretty simple. And think about it, you can create all kinds of lists to keep track of stuff. So the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is how to add a reminder to a list. So now we've created a list for Home Depot. So let's go into that list and let's click on New Reminder, and I'm gonna put in here, Buy Hammer, and I'm done. And now you can see you've got one item in the Home Depot list, and you can tap there and you can see Buy Hammer. And that's really simple, and that's how you add a reminder to a list. Well. Maybe you need to buy a few more things at Home Depot that goes along with that hammer. And you can add subtasks to a, a task. So if we go in here and we go over to the buy hammer and we tap on it, we get a little eye for information. You can click on that little eye and up pops this. And if you scroll down, you can click subtasks and you can click add reminder again. So now we'll say buy nails and I'll add that and buy glue and we'll add that and now we'll click on details again and we're done and now you can see under Home Depot of buy hammer we also have a couple subtasks of buying nails and buying glue and you have a little chevron right there that you can tap on and close that up. But you see you have two subtasks under that. So it's just a great way to keep track and group things together that sort of go together. And that's how you add subtasks. Now I want to talk to you about smart lists. Smart lists are these little areas right here. And they're usually associated with a time or whether you flag them. So I've got something in here for today. I have all my tasks that are listed there. I have everything that's on a schedule for my tasks coming up, and they keep track of it day by day. So if we went into Home Depot and we wanted to 
go to Home Depot on a certain date, we can click on the date and turn that on and choose the date. And we'll just choose today's date and we'll click Done. And now when we go back to list, you'll see that it's added it to the Today widget. These are called widgets. And if you click on the Today widget, you'll see it shows up there. So I usually assign a day for each one of my tasks and then in the morning I can come in and take a quick look at what do I have to do today and what's on my upcoming schedule for the next few days. And you can do that under scheduled. You can take a look at today, tomorrow, and then the various dates on into the future where you have things scheduled. You can also flag an item. Maybe it's not only on a date, but it's really important too. So you can tap on your list again, you can go to the information pane and you can flag it right there. And that tells you that this is something that's really important. I flag things that I just can't forget to do. So I look there and I tap on my flag list and there it is, buy hammer at Home Depot. And that is how you use smart lists, really handy. So the last thing I wanna to talk to you about is how to add a location reminder. Um, not only can you make lists of things that you need to do and things you need to buy and that kind of stuff, you can actually put a location reminder on it. So we've created a list for Home Depot. So if you go back into the Home Depot list and you tap on the little eye icon, you can go down and click on, turn on your location reminder. And then you can choose when you want to be reminded of it. So I'm gonna click on the I, and I'm going to delete that. And I'm gonna put on Home Depot, Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm gonna click the search, and here we go. So we'll do Home Depot on Capitol Boulevard, and we're done. And now you'll notice it says arriving, the Home Depot. When I arrive at this Home Depot, my iPhone will give me a notification. It'll either pop up on the screen or vibrate in my pocket or ding or however I've set up the notification. And it will remind me to take a look at it and to see what I have to pick up while I'm there. And that's really handy because you might make your list of things you need to pick up at a particular store, but you don't know exactly when you're gonna to go to that store. You just know you're gonna be there at some point in the future. And it's handy to be able to create a list and then be reminded of what you need to pick up while you're there. I'm forever forgetting to pick stuff up. I have to make a second trip back. So this is how I solve that problem. And that is how you add a location reminder to a task. So there you have it, five tips on how to get started using Apple Reminders. Honestly, I've been using Apple Reminders for years. It's handy, quick, and easy to use. And one of the things I like best about it is that there's so little friction when adding a reminder. I don't have to click 27 things just to add a chore to my list of chores. It's great. Well, that about wraps it up for now. I hope you found these tips helpful and that you start using Apple Reminders too. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.